The following video has been approved by the Jetty marketing team. It is rated Jetty for intense use of the word damn and many beaver related puns. This video may not be suitable for all beavers. G'day mate and welcome back to Timberborn with me, Jetty. So, today, today, today is a very sad day. A very, very sad day because although the colony has done well, although the colony has been much expanded, although we have, Coghead 1 has gone to extreme lengths to improve the quality of life for both the Cogheads and also uh, the organic beavers. It's time. It's time. It's a sad time because um, Mr. Coghead 1 is down to just 2% two, two durability. He is probably not going to live through uh, this cycle. He's probably not going to see the end of the next drought. So he's asked for his final wishes to have a few things done before um, he moves on to the next uh, the next realm, the next realm. So, first thing he's asked is, um, well, obviously, if we can only make 253 golems before the first one ages out, that's not nearly enough. So, um, he would like room for more golems. More golems are required. Uh, many, many, many more golems are required. Uh, so, he'd like all that removed. Uh, at the same time, he has made some very, some very massive, some very amazing, some very wonderful discoveries. He has learnt wonderful power of uh, not only a mod to hopefully increase the frame rate, because oh my god, is the game slowing down with um, 600 beavers running around? Is that 600 total beavers? Hang on, is that, that that's 581 beavers with 500, no, there's no, 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 ah, no. oh, there we go, 242. 242 cogworks, yep, yep, there's a lot of beavers running around. Uh, he has also found an amazing discovery, a 10 times distribution post, a distribution post that distributes more than any distribution post has before it. So, uh, he has decided that he would really like to put one of those in the main district, which is going to remove a very popular charging station, but um, things have to be done. Uh, and we're going to unlock that for 750 science, and we're going to jack that right there. Now, the idea behind these is um, the beavers can carry a thousand times as much cargo, which is massive. Uh, a normal beaver, flying beaver, who is a works at the distribution post, can carry 28 kilos. A normal beaver can carry 14. So it gives them a 100% bonus. The cold codes are a little bit higher. Um, this will give a 1,000% bonus. So that means they'll now carry 1,400 kilos. Which means actually moving things between uh, different colonies so much easier. So we're going to be putting in one of these. It does require treated planks, uh, also gears, uh, also metal blocks. So it is a super late game item, but that's perfectly okay with me. Uh, also happens to have a flat roof, if I can bring this up. Yeah, happens to have a flat roof, so you can actually build on part of it, which is awesome. Also, it's 4x4, four four, not this stupid shape. This is ridiculous. Um, so he's asked that a couple of those get put in. Uh, he has also asked, where is it, uh, that this one get updated. Uh, yeah, we might leave that for just a second. Um, definitely wants this one updated. Uh, detonate. Uh, what are you shipping? All sorts of stuff. Hang on, let me make some notes. Okay, with notes made, uh, we are going to remove that one as well and throw labor uh, one of those in right there as well. It's going to take a minute to build it, but that's perfectly fine. Uh, and then we should probably get this one done as well. Uh, this is going to require a bit of infrastructure, so maybe we won't, we won't get this one done right now. Uh, I need to mark that, 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 that. Uh, no, not that one. Not that one either. Put the potatoes back. Uh, and put the stupid maple back. Great. Uh, yet yeah, those resources need to be removed. Okay, uh, has also, uh, wanted to give out, wanted to give out some, um, oh, actually, and this whole area. Uh, because we're definitely going to be doing this district. Because this district is literally shipping back timber at the moment. That's the only thing they're doing. Um, okay, so has also, uh, is a little bit, a little bit disappointed. A little bit disappointed they never get to, got to raise all the gates, uh, because things would flood. So he has asked that this particular di district, the dammed up river, um, reinforce the levees on this side of the bank and then, um, readjust how they've been put together to make sure that he can, um, well, It'll have to be a successor, can raise these up all the way and not flood every district between here and there. Uh, has also uh, decided that uh, the wonderful, the wonderful uh, Absence District, which has been building nothing but batteries forever, which are all fully charged, gets another extra reward. They already have the Labour Monument. 
Wow. They can now also have a flame of progress. A flame of progress because they have made such progress. But he's also asked for uh, just, just a few more batteries. Uh, we already paralyzed the project uh, process once. He's decided uh, that he would like it paralyzed a bit more. Yeah, all of those, please. And all of uh, those. And all of those with all of those. With just enough pathing for the beavers to get out and down to the right level. At which point uh, they can obviously have a path so they know how to get places because they're so stupid they can't get anywhere without a path. And then um, back into the batteries and well just, just, just another battery or helps if I can line this stuff up. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Oh my god, eight. Uh, that one has to remain paused so the beavers can actually get in and build the last one and then come back for that one. And then the same on this side. Uh, just just a battery or two. Just just to make sure that, you know, hopefully there's no future problems. Uh, he has also made an interesting discovery when it comes to uh, nobody likes dry beavers because, I mean, he determined nobody likes dry beavers. And found out, rather than putting up little water dumps and little ponds here, there, and everywhere, he came up with a better idea. And that is, if we lower the terrain down, we can have a look, see. Uh, there we go. Uh, removed all the pathing and instead blew up every single tile and then put in a, a single dump that is now going to run the water all the way underneath the paths. So, um... His plan is to continue this process along as the beavers uh, fill in the area. Have to be very, very careful about what you do and don't blow up. Because technically, if you blow up the wrong tile, um, you're going to leak out all the paths, which means all the everything else is going to dry up and die. Uh, but this, uh, this is doing really, really well currently. He is also demanding that the beavers uh, continue filling in more area. And then eventually, we're going to add in even more uh, dirt diggers. Because, well... More dirt means we can fill in areas faster. The current issue is um, actually there's too much dirt and not enough dirt fillers. So he has... Actually, I don't think there's enough beavers out right. No, we're nine short. Uh, can I migrate population? Can we go from 69? Nice. Up to 85? That's an extra 16 beavers? Sure. Uh, but we no longer need that in there, which means we can uh, now fill in this tile with a maximum priority on it. And then we can put in another terraforming station on top because the terraforming stations actually seem to be the short, the short fall, the, the, the bottleneck, the bottleneck currently. Um, we just need more terraforming stations, like a lot more terraforming stations, like a lot, a lot more terraforming stations. Yes. Uh, also, once the update, upgrade this district to a bigger district because our plan is, or his plan is, uh, that the dry beaver district should hopefully be able to plant lots of trees and ship the timber back into the absence district which is constantly out of timber. 1,700 right now, but um, even though there's trees cut everywhere, they, they just don't last. They just don't last. It just burns through timber. Has something to do with um the industrial mecca we have down here. Lastly, lastly, our very final district. He has decided the, the wonderful battery operated friends, the district that um, in the previous episode had, had managed to get them through most of, most of the end of the drought, provided plenty of power, has... um been pleased with their progress uh not only have they started putting in the channels around and down here to put in more wheels they have already plugged in the existing wheels into the main drive train and back of the buildings yes we are producing forty-one thousand beaver power uh but that's it's not enough it's not enough he has demanded that they um get a few more wheels in a few more wheels in a uh, bit more power like there and there uh plus a wheel here here and here and then eventually right the way across but he also noticed that a large amount of beavers uh 18 of them are sleeping on the floor so he did say that they could build some huts build some huts build some habitation um the catch was after they built the habitation, habitation that path all the way up there he was going to use a path for two things one to make a shortcut to come out here and build more batteries of course he is uh also to make a shortcut over this direction to build more batteries very 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 tall batteries with a very long drop uh these batteries hold 5600 horsepower each i think those ones are even taller yeah they are 
they're, they're, these are even taller, which means it's going to take even more construction parts to get up there. Yep. Uh, so he's given them more things to do. But um, again, as always, there are beavers sleeping on the ground. So um, he has said that they can kindly have an extra couple of houses. But due to the extreme lack of space, uh, they have to be, um, well, beside the mine. So they're just going to listen to the mines all day long. Yep. All right. Uh, that has been his, his final, final, final dictations. Uh, there he is. Uh, until, well, his final days. His final days. His final hours of his final days, which we're pretty much at now. Um, so we're going to let the beavers get to work. Hopefully get some of the new advanced buildings up and running. Oh, they've got this half done. Uh, can we also get this all done? Because he'd love to at least see uh, us breaking ground on this new project uh, before before his final time. With the last of the bestie food cleared out of the way, it's time for more golem factories. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, that's enough for one and a bit beavers. Uh, five, six. That's enough for two beavers. Seven, eight. And uh, with a bit of creative um, demolition... Uh, yes, thank you, game. Uh, we can get in, where is it? A golem part factory right there. Nine, nine of them. Uh, we can also drag that through there. Now, for every two of these, uh, so, okay, first off, you're going to do chassis, chassis, chassis. Uh, you're going to do heads 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 you'll do limbs limbs and limbs and then it's six to four of them uh yeah so that means we're gonna go back into science we'll have a golem assembler uh one two because you guys take 18 hours to do a chassis uh so so 18 hours doubled 36, uh, which means you'll make two of those. Okay, and then we'd need two more for the other row, and then one more. One more should be enough. Uh, let's put you at that end, and then let's see whether we can actually get the path up there to plug all this crap together. Uh, we could bring out a path. That's one tile. Two tile. Okay, so we could bring a path here to here i go twos all the way through and then that all the way there and you don't make the muck cut uh you can instead become a, an assembler i don't know down here down here that'll do us uh but that sh that that shall be his final his final decree that it can be built uh because mr coghead won <sighs> he just saw he just saw he just saw ground being broken before his time was up uh but he did hand over the baton hand over the baton to uh mr cockhead 256 yeah who works at the exact same gear workshop that he was at uh and shall be renamed the new mr cockhead one who now carries the cog forth for the next generation of cockheads yeah sorry mr cockhead one even coming over to pay respects by probably walking right over your corpse yep Yep, 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 yep. Okay, all right. Uh, so that's our plan. We want to get some of these new districts up. Uh, well, new, new district shipping centers up and running. Uh, in fact, you're already built. You are. Okay, so we're going to set you back up too. So this is chassis to absence. Yep. And we need to ship over uh, plank, gears... Red, boomsticks, metal, 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 tree to planks. Cool. Done. And we can load many beavers in that because, well, rusty and sm submissive is nice, but with an exotic, a foxy, a nosy, and a sweaty beaver, uh, it should be plenty of uh, plenty of ability to get stuff shipped out. Also, we're going to set up shipping all the way up to here, uh, treated planks, because we'll need them up here to build a distribution post up here as well. What are these cockheads doing? You need six more. Surely I can find you six more. Can I bring that up to 28? Done. Uh, what are the six meant to be doing? I honestly don't know. Uh, sure. Yeah, I honestly don't know. 
but hopefully they can get uh, the extra the extra surrounds up here. Um, preferably, uh, yeah, we could do it after the drought starts. I guess that that's fine. Uh, also, if we get that, some of those treated planks shipped out to the different districts, we can definitely tidy that up. Uh, this one down here should have all of these been empty. That's still full of berries, but I should be able to remove you, remove you, remove you. Also remove that. And in theory, be able to put in one of the new drop-off markets. Uh... Do you work that tile? You do work in that tile. Uh, so hopefully they uh, battery operated. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, battery operated friends district can get that up and running with logs and treated planks. Uh, as for these guys, well, they have logs. They have not enough treated planks because it keeps disappearing into other unrelated projects. Yeah shouldn't probably be building that whilst i'm trying to get this other stuff done but they are filling in the area slowly very 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 slowly very 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 slowly all right uh i'll see you guys in a bit after well we probably upgrade this one next and get that one up and running hey building that's power because you built it from the wrong end you idiots you can't leave these guys unsupervised in just 10 seconds they are useless i've got two of them done you guys suck and there's the drought we expected so, uh, first off, beavers are an idiot, and they definitely build things in the wrong order. Surprise, surprise. At the same time, uh, we do have our next two part factories going in. We have the materials to support building them, not an issue. Also, we probably have the parts to make the golem assemblers. Um, metal is definitely going to be probably the thing we're shortest on, although we do have 300 in this district. Uh, no, I take that back. 25 in this district. Yeah, metal is what we're going to be most short on. Um, most of the metal is actually living in other districts. We are also just walling this whole thing in now. Um, that has been the final solution. We need to... Actually, everything's fully charged. Uh, we need to remove that and put in a drivetrain to bring it up a tile. And then remove that one and put in a drivetrain to move it down a tile... So it's going to have to go up to there, which will be a levee. Uh, yep, also means that that needs to be a levee after we finish building everything underneath it. Uh, you get removed, you get removed. You are going to have uh, one of those with a four-way on you. And yes, we need to get this little bit of pathing done so they can climb up here. So they can build three things uh, and then remove the whole lot and levee the whole area up. So technically this whole drive shaft here could possibly be flooded. Yeah, uh, we have also got our new district centers up and running and I've configured, well, I've hopefully configured them correctly and then shipping the right stuff back and forth. Hey, you guys are all done. Excellent. Now you can build the stuff upstairs. Uh, okay, we should have them hopefully configured correctly. Uh, that is hopefully up. Uh, Probably needs more than just two beavers. Uh, shipping into here, which is the new drop-off market, uh, which means now we have a stock of 2,000. Means I don't need all these. We can get rid of you. 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 We can get rid of you if I don't mind losing 200 berries. Probably don't want to lose 200 berries purely on the fact of you can't store berries in there. Uh, that's probably why we have uh, berries sitting there doing nothing. Um, we can also... Where's labor? Labor, 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 labor. Uh, builder's hut. Uh, oh, look. Look where we go. Uh, we've got a builder's hut there, a builder's hut there, and potentially another builder's hut there. Or, or one back there. Does that help me? Nah, not really. Not really. Um, yeah, more builders' huts to definitely have more building progress down here because there's um, a lot of building that go down here. Also, this is one of the ones that, well, it's at the end of the line, so it tends to have timber. Not always, but tends to have timber. Uh, we can also mark those two tiles for cutting. And this is another thing that drops performance. Having more tiles available for cutting uh, slows the game down. The catch is um, you need more tiles for more logs. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, uh, okay, back up to here. This one's in, uh, also is its market. Its market that we can actually look at. And I've got to say, like, the dev did a wonderful job. It, it is a mod, but um, they did a wonderful job. We've also added a drivetrain into this building. Uh, we're going to give you all of them. Not that you need all of them, but 
I'm going to give you all of them anyway. Uh, and I should be able to science, 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 science. Uh, put in. Oh my god, the loading time. Uh, two more of those there and there and in there. I'm assuming they connect. It says it's solid. It says it... Like, it used to tell you how much power went through a building if it was connected to the network, which made it really easy to know if something was actually connected to the network or not. Actually, you know what we do? We're going to add a single, a single drive. That's how we'll do it. That's how we'll know if it's connected or not. If that single drive says it has power, then we should be fine. Uh, we have put in more terraforming stations, and there are still more to go. Many, many, many more. These are still set to empty. Not that they're being emptied, but um, we're also getting landfill done reasonably quickly. Uh, do I want to blow that up yet? No, nah, not really. So uh, that is our plan for the di districts. Uh, as soon as... Perfect. Uh, we can remove you... We can remove you. We can put a high powered shaft right there. We can also levy that and that. In the meantime, that they should be able to reach from ground level. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not remo worth removing the infrastructure to just find out that they can't reach something. Um, so we're going to put that in. Uh, we do have this little section here that we can finally detonate. Which means, in theory, if I put a little path around here, we should be able to get the explosive beavers up to the top level, so they should be able to fill most of that full of explosives. Also means that you can probably plant a few more tiles for a few more maple for a few more bits of wood. Uh, more wood, always better wood. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, 2.3 days till we find out how long the drought is. Um, short, long, I think at this point it doesn't matter. We should... Crossing Vegas uh, have enough batteries to keep us running. If not, we're building batteries, so hopefully, maybe that gets us through. I honestly don't know. Um, batteries are a thing, a very, very big thing. Uh, and no way's bothered to build those. They have put in the, the things, so things are now going to transfer power through, but yeah, we need to get all this done as well. But th there's a few building projects to do. As the drought uh, starts to draw to an end, New Coghead 1 has even moved districts. Uh, he has decided to move to Dam Up River and actually works at, well, the current distribution post. Uh, the new one should be built, hopefully fairly soon. It just needs, well, some treated planks, which uh, we have a little bit of a shortage of. Also, um, he's decided we no longer need berries. We don't need any berries in this district. Uh, it can all be maple for all the more trees, all the more trees that we can chop down for you know, more wood. Everybody likes a bit of wood to go with your beaver. Uh, he's also very impressed that um, the they managed to get the, the, the new blocking system up and running, which means, in theory, we can crank all these to max and nothing will go wrong. Well, we're still going to get a certain amount of water flowing backward over the water sources, which is weird in anybody's books, but... um. Hopefully that pushes a little bit more water through here and downstream. Uh, we have managed to get uh, the brand new 10 times distribution posts uh, up in a couple of spots. Not all of them, uh, but uh, more importantly, we did manage to get up all the golem assemblers, which now we have twice as many golem assemblers, which means potentially his masterful plan of replacing every beaver with a golem is entirely possible. Uh, we are going to kick out I don't give a damn and split beaver. We're also going to kick out self-lubricating and thirsty beaver. We're going to throw out leave a like in the comment section. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, we're going to kick them out too. We're also going to kick out the smoking beaver with the nosy beaver. And I'm finally going to kick out the skanky beaver with the slick beaver and replace them all with cogheads. Um, we're 10 short. Uh, but I'm pretty sure... Well, that's where I thought it would be. Oh, it's that one. Uh, pretty sure we can change that back to the humanoid beavers. Well, the organic beavers. Yep. Yep, that's probably more accurate. Uh, and re-establish re the cogwork beavers into all the hauling posts. Believe it or not, we actually have a shortage of beavers. Plus, we have, um, beavers sleeping on the floor in this district. We have 372 in just this district alone. Uh, as for the cogworks over here, they do have the brand new distribution post up and also the um, drop-off point, which is yeah, still awesome, still awesome. Uh, they are shipping just logs into the neighboring chassis district 
when they have logs, which is not for quite some time. Uh, at the same time, they are, well, chopping, uh, well, chopping, uh, filling in, filling in as many tiles as they possibly can. Hopefully, they can get enough filled that we can continue building. Uh, I need to count, what was it, 30 tiles from, where does that water go? Oh, no, I see it. Uh, yeah, I gotta work out exactly where we're gonna cut. Uh, I think it's this row. It is, I believe. That one's too close. Yeah, I gotta count some tiles. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, we'll do that between recordings. Uh, we also need to clear out this area eventually, and... <sighs> well, we're still emptying that one. No, that one's been emptied. Okay, that one's been emptied. We're gonna empty this one next, and then we'll work our way through these. We still have a stack of dirt, actually. We still have a stack of dirt. Uh, we probably... Do we have resources in this district? We have some. We should be able to uh, put in dirt piles, uh, which costs normal planks. Do I have normal planks in this district? I should do. I have normal planks, yes. And I have metal, yes. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four... Five? Six? Maybe? Yep. Uh, we, we won't set up more dirt excavators just yet. We need to get enough terraforming stations up and running to actually clear through the backlog and be able to put down the dirt fast enough because um, the further we get the the further we get from where we're mining the dirt, the longer it's going to take them to get out there. Uh, we also did put in a new distribution post down here. Also a drop-off market, which means the six markets I had down here could all be replaced. Which means more workers. Many, many more workers. Uh, so we have Battery Opera Friends now has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. Eleven um, builders huts now, uh, which is 44 beavers dedicated to building things out of the 128 in the district. <laughs> Yeah, okay, uh, they are trying to get stuff built, uh, but they are having a problem with, well, in theory, there's no food, which is only slightly worrying. Uh, probably need to turn that on. Stock. They have berries. They're not moving anything. Well, if these don't work, it could be up. Oh, it's nap time. Oh, that's unfortunate. I could replace them with golems, but it'll be okay. They probably won't starve, possibly. Uh, they, they are planting their own carrots. Maybe they'll actually harvest the carrots if the carrots were ready. Yep. Uh, so we're going to be hopefully getting more building tasks done in here, providing I can keep up with the timber demands. The timber demands are worrying some. Uh, we're also meant to be shipping in planks, but um, it seems I don't have any planks. 24, yeah. Uh, you need to have a quite a large stockpile for them to actually ship things out of here. This is the only catch with them, but then again, Borning Wood does carry 140 kilos. So he could move around a fair bit of stuff. Oh, that's a lot of beavers diving in old, old age. And the drought started. It's a four-day drought. Eh, we don't even have to worry about it. Uh, so, with the drought started, the, the gates blocked off. We should be fine. Should be fine. Should be fine. Let's hope we're fine. Uh, but I should see you guys at the other side of the drought. Well, the end of the drought is approaching, and, um, it's, it's that time. It's that time when, uh, a lot of our early cogheads are giving up. Um, finally resting after, after 70 cycles of working very hard. At the same time, you may notice, um, that some of the batteries are flat. But then again, the big batteries. The big batteries are just fine. We've got half a day left on the drought, and... We are constantly pumping another, what, three, three and a half thousand um, horsepower, beaver power into the network by um, having just a few beavers running on a few wheels. In fact, um, between droughts, we're going to be working out how to remove, well, more builders' huts because um, we just don't need the builders. There is nothing left for the Absence District to build. They have built everything they possibly could. And we just have too many beavers. Uh, as for battery-operated beavers, um, they have a couple of idle beavers, even with all the workers they have available to them, and they are slowly getting projects done. Uh, they have hooked up another row of wheels, and we can at least ask them to move on to the next set. If I can just remove the paths. Uh, actually, I don't think I need any paths past there. Yep. Uh, where are we? Power... Uh, large water wheel. We're putting the gear, the, the 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 anchor point on the right. Yep. 
so we can get those rows in. They are slowly getting the, the giant amount of damming uh, done, along with slowly building up. They have uh, some serious height, some serious height already, but uh, they still have a couple of twists and turns to do to get another row of housing in. It means, um, well, mm, nobody's sleeping on the outside yet, but um, there's still time. There's still time to put some more beavers outside. Uh, and finally, there is six incapacity. Well, and six unemployed. Probably because they're uh, injured. We still do have golems running out of energy. Uh, this is from No One Likes Dry Beavers. He is, well, was dumping uh, dumpy soil. Uh, you're from Chastity, and you're from No One Likes Dry Beavers. Yes. I have a feeling if we're going to do large terraforming projects, we may need to actually put charging stations along the path route as well. Uh, also, I have done the calculations and we can detonate that row plus detonate that row. And that should let the water flow all the way through and up to here which also means we can get rid of that little guy and uh, we can leave that there uh, we can landscaping a single tile in that orientation and we can now ask the wonderful beavers to uh well wonderful battery operated beavers to path up do they need to path that up? Not really, but we're going to ask them to path it up anyway, because uh, our next fork in the road goes this way. Technically, I need to bring one out there, but um, where is District Center? District Center, yeah, we could probably come out to here a little bit. Um, I don't know whether it's actually worth it or not. Uh, and that's the next road going that way. Uh, I don't think I need to road that in, but, you know, it doesn't hurt, I guess. And at least that means the beavers will be able to build it. As for the next road, it is uh, these tiles here. But I can't blow them up until, um, well, we seal off this one, which is going to take a little bit of time. But the drought just ended and things will continue returning to back to normal. With our new uh, fully, in fully engaged uh, bridges, bridges, uh... No, not really. They're, they're floodgates. With our fully engaged floodgates in, we should have plenty of water. Oh, we can also blow up this. That always makes my day better. Uh, okay, uh, we need to check where you can reach to. You can reach to there. So we're going to throw maple up to that point. None of that maple will ever exist. None of that maple will exist on the count. The ground is too dry. Uh, we can set the cutting zone for all of that, but not that. And we will delete those and planting zones. Turn that off because that'll never get planted. Nope, that's just a couple of tiles out of range. Okay, uh, so yes, we finally do have some of the maples coming online here, which means we have, well, 82 wood currently, but we'll have, we'll have some more, we'll have some more, and we'll ship that out. Uh, it is one of the reasons that beavers are running out of power from Damned Up River. Uh, they're leaving, and by the time they walk all the way over to Absence and drop off their logs, they're out of power on the way home. So they walk home very, very slowly and then get a new round of power when we get home. It does mean I got a couple of idle beavers as backup, but they're purely as backup. Uh, your lowest priority? Yes, I've got two spares. If I up the priority on that by one, minimize that, we could do that. At least that means the two beavers are going to do something the rest of the time. Hopefully hauling timber in so it can be shipped off. Uh, yep, wheels are slowly turning. These wheels should also be slowly turning. Yep, plenty of power being added back to the network. We're already what, one third of the way there. Uh, they're still draining reasonably quickly. Uh, but yeah, we, we, we're definitely on the way of um, replacing the organics. Uh, this district is probably my biggest concern currently. We just need to be able to dump dirt down faster, a lot faster. Uh, and I don't have a quick and dirty solution for that. Well, not really. Not really. Uh, these are waiting for materials, which is metal blocks, which we must have a shortage on. Stock, metal blocks, nine. Uh, this district. Can we open up that panel? 
uh, metal blocks too. Yep, we have a, just to have a shortage of metal blocks. We may be at the stage where we need to actually ship some beavers over here, some some battery operated beavers over here, to run the mine twenty four seven. It is going to cost us a thousand sites to unlock that. Also, we we'll probably put a mine control tower there at the same time. Got six are here already. How many do you need? Uh, you need ten. Yeah, we're going to do it. Uh, yes. And that means this district. Uh, wrong one. Go there. Go there. And uh, ten, please, sir. Uh, also means that science-wise, we'll put a control tower probably here. That should cover us for just about everything. Yeah. And that can be built from the staircase. Yep. All right. So we're going to do that. Uh, that should give us this running flat out uh, and should hopefully increase the amount of spa scrap metal we get. It is not a shortage of explosives or treated planks or gears. It's purely a shortage of, well, beaver runtime. That and beavers keep getting injured, which, you know, probably doesn't help. Anyway, uh, I think I need to leave this episode here. We, we still have some major construction tasks to do. Uh, I need to resave up some metal and hopefully with these different projects coming online uh we can finally settle our wood shortage because like when this district comes online there is going to be an awful lot of timber that can be shipped out also need to work out where we can put down more of these guys technically they can go at sea um well they can go on scaffold so maybe there's a case to be made uh Yeah, and then we go scaffolding, terraforming station, one, two, three. Yeah, we could do that. The biggest catch is it costs metal, and I don't have any metal. Uh, so, yeah, metal metal's our big shortfall currently. Um, also, technically, actually, it won't it won't impact our battery operator beaver creation speed. Because the metal's not going to be shipped out of this district till we have at least 100 in stock. And that's probably part of the problem why other districts don't have as much metal. Also may impede our battery creation speed. But um, I, I, I think we're okay. I think we're okay when it comes to batteries. Maybe not. Possibly. Yes, these are still got half power. I, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Especially if we can get this bit done. And, well, that bit. Yeah, I think we're okay. Anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. We'll see you guys in the very next episode of Timberborn with me, JD, and Mr. Cog Coghead1. The new Mr. Coghead1. Yes, the new Mr. Coghead1, um, who maybe with a little bit more forced labor uh, can run strictly on beaver power, no longer river power. It's a plan. It's an idea. Everything's a concept until it's put in action. Anyway, that's it. I'm out. See you next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.